As part of the Texas Quail Index, we've talked to you about how to do various kinds of indexes or indices. We've done the spring call count where we're listening for the We've done dummy nest, do roadside counts, all these various ways that we can try to estimate what the quail population is. Come in the fall, now we're going to do what's called the covey call count or the early morning covey call. And we're listening for this sound. And it's basically a covey waking up. You can think of it as Reveille. It's going to happen about 40 minutes before official sunrise. And it's only going to last for 30 seconds to a couple of minutes. So you can only do one spot. That's the worst part about these covey call counts. You can only do one spot in the morning. Whereas in the spring cock call counts, we could do eight or ten by listening for five minutes and moving on, we can only do one of these. So it's really important if you're gonna do several of these that you have somebody with you and you've got two or three people uh, stationed at different ones. Here at the Rolling Plains Quail Research Ranch, we have 25 different mile markers scattered across the ranch. And from those mile markers, we do our various call counts. In October, we try to monitor every odd numbered mile marker so we'll get about 13 different samples from across this 4700 acre property about how many quail we hear whistling now the covey call count can give you a crude index to bob white density for example this morning i heard five coveys calling you divide how many coveys you hear calling by 10 that would be 0 0.5 for my call count this morning and that says we've got about a bird per two acres and that's a pretty good uh, pretty good goal anytime we can get close to hearing 10 coveys at a spot or a bird per acre that's a really good management goal we're going to use the same data sheet that we use for the spring cock call counts and I'm listening when I hear those birds start to sound off one covey's going to call it's going to stimulate the other covey to call our data sheet just looks like a, an archery target or a bullseye. We're standing right here at the center. And again, if I hear a covey, these are 200, 400, and 600 yard rings. So if I hear a covey out here at about two o'clock, I'm gonna mark an X. If I hear another covey that's even further away down here about five o'clock, mark an X. If I have a covey pretty close to me, then 200 yards, right there. And so, like I said, I heard a total of five cubbies calling this morning. And my distribution would look something like that. We think, in our opinion, we can hear that call for about 600 yards. A circle with a radius of 600 yards is an area of a little over 200 acres. So we think we're getting an estimate of how many different cubbies we have per 200 acre circle. Now we don't know for sure what percentage of the coveys do call, but there's some research from Florida that suggests that about on any given morning, about 80% of the coveys actually give that whistle in a higher density population, which we think we have here. So we like to think again that it's, it's a measure of how many birds we've got going into the hunting season. It's kind of a short range forecast for what our hunting ought to be. And if we can hear at least five coveys calling, we're in decent shape. If we can hear if we can hear 10 or even sometimes the best I've heard is about 14 coveys anytime you get above 10 it's hard to distinguish but that's a great problem to have once you hear that initial volley of calls that's going to happen again about 35 minutes before official sunrise we encourage you to stay on site listening for the next 20 minutes because sometimes 15 to 20 minutes later you'll hear a second round of calling refer to your diagram if you hear a covey calling over here at three o'clock, have you heard them? Did you mark them while ago? Sometimes it'll be a new covey. So stay for at least 20 minutes after that initial volley of calls. Now, if you're in blue quail country, you get to sleep in because blue quail have no covey call like this. So we don't even try to do this uh, when it comes to recording or estimating a blue quail situation. There's a real nice little fact sheet called Counting Quail. I'll give the address at the end of this webisode and you can check that out and it gives you all the details. It's available online 
uh, in a PDF version so you can download that and take that with you for a homework example.